Basic and Advanced Warehousing Functionality For advanced and basic warehouse functionality, we have created multiple locations, different location for different functionality. For basic location, we have created two basic locations. Basic location A, and basic location B. Basic location A, is the functionality of required receipt, shipment and bin mandatory, and basic location B, is only put away, pick and bin mandatory. So, let's start with basic location A. After that we will go with advance. Firstly, we are starting with basic location. So, for this we have we will create a purchase order. As you know how to create a purchase order, we have created an item. For testing, this is item. This is serial enabled. And put the location here. And with quantity you can put the bin code here and go to line item tagging lines. This is serial. You get the serial number to this shortcut. Give this serial number and release this. Is it? Yes, it is released and create a warehouse receipt for the purchase order. As we have enabled warehouse receipt, warehouse is it with this location. So, this is the warehouse receipt, and you can print this. Go ahead and post this receipt you will receive. In this item into your warehouse location, into your warehouse bin. This is document is posting. For checking you can use bin content. You can see this item is added here and this this is the item. You click on this, and I have added this go back, and for sales order. We will create a sales order for this location and now we will ship the item. I am just taking a random customer and taking location. Basic location quantity 3. Process, warehouse shipment. This is the warehouse shipment means your item is ready to ship. Go to post and post this. You can post invoice from here as. We will create a purchase order, stop the recording, and we'll back with purchase order. I have created a purchase order and assign the tracking lines with them. Second line 1001 serial number 1001 with quantity 1 and 100 row with quantity. So you have to assign serial number in each quantity and this is done. Read the document. Go to process. Create inventory put away. We are creating put away. Just create inventory put away and click on OK inventory put away has been created. Then inventory put away line. This is the screen of warehouse activity. This is the inventory put away card. You can see the details here quantity to handle how much quantity you want to handle. Suppose you are you are receiving. One quantity only so you can fill one quantity here. But I am going with two quantity full of quantity and justice go to process or suppose zero you can click on process and auto fill quantity to handle this automatically filled here. Click on post and receive an invoice. Same thing you can receive an invoice directly with this put away or you can just click on receive and you will receive this quantity in this bin and go back and you can see this if you or you have not invoiced yet. Then you can separately invoice this order invoice. Okay now this order has been posted so this is functionality with purchase and for sales create a sales order. I will assign. I will assign the taken lines with the item and serial number this now 001, AUK and serial number this 1002A then close it. And release the document with basic location B. We use require put away and require pick for this. If you want put away and pick only, you can enable this option with the location and we will go to create inventory put away and pick so we are creating pick this click on OK it has been created. Go to this warehouse and inventory port away, and lines and click on the card. And this is the inventory bit quantity to handle. Just click on quantity to handle, and go to post and post this bit. And I am going to ship an invoice, so the item has been shipped from your bin or from your location. So this is the basic warehouse functionality. If you want only required, put away and require pick, so you can just enable this. If you want to require receive and require shipment only, you can go with this these options only. So this is the basic warehouse functionality. Now we will go with advanced warehouse functionality, in advance.
We use the combination of these that requires the rotary deck and memory. The steps of the process will increase. Let us start with the purchase. We'll create a purchase order. We are creating a purchase order and assigning item tracking lines. Re release the document. For this, we have to create first a warehouse receipt. The receipt has been created. And we will assign the bin here and then we will create a pick. This is it in the process. And we will when we post this. The warehouse is sent, and it will go into. It will create a warehouse put away because, with sales orders for purchase orders, we will create a put away. We have created a put away so search for a warehouse put away. This is put over here and you can see the bit code from this to this or you can print this and put it away. You can register this put away to confirm register this put away it means this item is in your warehouse location when you register this put away. You can see the quantity received as 2. Now post this order. So this is the purchase functionality. With this location for sales, we will create a sales order. After that, you can create a pick. It has been created and this is the pack. And register this pick that the warehouse. This warehouse pick is registered and the item is completely picked. You can see the document status. Now post this shipment I am posting with the invoice. This is the process with advanced warehousing which is not using direct foot away in bed. This is using just bins only bins and now we will go with another advanced location. So this advanced location is using direct put away and fig. When you enable this option it requires bin, bin code, shipment bin code, zones and bin types, and the templates which we have set up the all the things in the advanced warehouse. You can see you can say this is the combination of the functionality of the advanced warehouse. So we will go with the advanced location B. Let me create the purchase order. We have created an order and also assigned the item tracking lines with the item. And raise this strategy has been released. Go to process and create a warehouse receipt. The receipt has been created. This is the same process but the staff added is added here as the warehouse put away so we will see the process. When you post this, it will in before the previous step it directly created a warehouse put away. But right now we are using a put away worksheet. So we put away the worksheet we will go to get the warehouse document. The put away worksheet is used to create put away of multiple receipts. We did not enable the worksheet, we just we only clicked on click, put away and click. So the worksheet is. If you want to create, put away the worksheet you can create you can enable this option. We will go to the warehouse and put it away. This is the put away here. The addition is zones, different zones, and different bins. Particular bins for a shipment, a particular bin for receiving, and different types of bins for different functionality. So, this is the difference between this advanced location and this advanced location register this put away. Register the same process go to post. Post this let me check the item post. We have received it. Go to post. And for sales. You will be the sales order. So I've created a sales order and I'm assigning the item tracking lines and now releasing this order. Released send process goes to process and then create warehouse shipment. And then shipment has been created. You can see the zone and bin here and we go to process create a pick. The pick has been created and you can see these lines from here. You can change the quantity to handle. Go to process and register the pick and go back in the compost and post this shipment. So this is the functionality of advanced warehousing.